Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronix with an actor and in this tutorial we are going to be doing color grading in camera and fixing some lighting issues or some discoloration in Photoshop. For example, this part of the eye and the image we are going to be using today is by El Ifante and I'm going to put his link, uh, his YouTube link rather in the description of this video. So let's click in on the start color grading this image. So this is not a skin retouching tutorial. This is rather a color grading tutorial in camera raw so i hope you guys follow along and enjoy this very tutorial and if at all you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe this channel so let's start color grading this very image and you can see it is taken using sony this is the extension for sony images so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to start color grading so the very first thing i want to do i want first of all recover information in the highlights of this very image. So in order to, to recover that information, I'm going to come to the highlights and simply knock them down just like that. And you can see we are getting back the information in the sky of this very image. I'm going to come to the whites and I'm also going to knock down the whites just like that. <clears throat> you can see that we are getting back the information in the sky area. So I think that is a nice step. So let's see the before and the after so far and we have just recovered that information with just the two sliders so the next thing we are going to be doing i just want to zoom in slightly so anything we want to do we want to play around with the contrast of this image so i'm just going to come to the blacks and simply knock down the blacks just like that to get more contrast in the image trial negative seven then i'm also going to come to the contrast area and i'm going to simply Turn up the contrast of this very image around, I think, at around 5. So I don't want to go overboard with this. So if at all you want your image to pop even more, you can come to the profile, since this is a raw file. Come to the profile and change it to maybe landscape and you see what that gives us. So you can see that this has dramatically transformed this image. So let's see the before and the after, before, after. But now the image ta is turning out to look really oversaturated. So what, what we want to do, you're just going to come to uh, the vibrance option and you're going to simply knock down the vibrance of this image just to around negative five. I think that works and turning down the saturation a little bit so that it can look really natural enough. So the before and the after, so what we want to do, we're going to come to the HSL panel and we play around with these colors. So for example, I want to mute down the aquas in the sky area right here. So I'm just going to first of all come to the luminous option and I come to my aquas and simply turn down the aquas. I know that is not affecting the image, but the effect can be seen when I turn down the blues just like that. And you can see that it is affecting the image in one way or another. So just going to push it around negative 10 because I'm dealing with the colors in this very image. Then after I have done so, I feel like uh, the skin tones are really having so much of the reds. So I'm just going to come to the hues. And I'm just going to knock up the reds towards the orange side to kind of... Uh, mute down the oranges in the uh, rather the reds in the skin tones of the model so i think uh, this looks nice and beautiful so let's see the before and the after so far for the color grading process so if at all you feel like you want to go for that kind of teal look you can still come to the blues and you can play around with the hues of the blue so you can see what uh, that if at all you're going for such a look so I think I'm just going to leave it uh, in the most natural way possible. So I'm just going to uh, go with around a hue of around negative 10. So I think that looks fine. Then I feel like I want to play around with the yellows rather. I'm just going to come the luminance and I'm just going to push down the luminance of uh, the yellow. So you can see what this does. It regains uh, the information in the highlights. I'm just going to do a little bit. I just don't want to overdo that. So basically luminance is more of the lightness or darkness of a given color. So if at all I turn the yellows all the way up, you can see it brightens up the yellows. And if at all I turn it down, it darkens the yellows in the image. So that is 
base color luminous for you. I'm just going to knock it around negative 12. So I think that looks nice and beautiful. So let's see. This was the image before. And here we are right now, before and after. So what I want to do, I'm going to open this image into Photoshop to do something a little bit more. And before I can do that, I feel like uh, the magentas are too much in the skin tones. I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to come to the tint option. So when I come to the tint option, I'm going to come to uh, this option right here. So you can see we have magentas already to around plus eight. I'm just going to simply knock down the magentas, I think, to around uh, four and also cool down the image a little bit, just like that. So you can see the before and after, before, after. So I'm just going to open the image back into Photoshop to do or fix this coloration issue right on the arm because I think the light was right here. If at all, I'm sure you guys why the softbox was. So it hit this area and it had so much light. So just want to fix that in Photoshop. So I'm just going to hit open to open the image into Photoshop to do some little bit more of fixing on those particular areas. So I think it's going to take a short while. So here we are in Photoshop. So what we want to do, just want to fix this area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all create a backup of the background there by hitting Ctrl or Command J on the keyboard. I'm just going to come and get my quick selection tool. And I could just click right here to select uh, the arm just like that. And it has made a really nice selection on the arm of the model. Then I'm going to come to, first of all, the brightness and contrast. Then I'm just going to knock it down just like that. To reduce on the bright area of the arm. So let's see the before and after. I think this looks nice and decent enough. Then what I want to do, I'm just going to do the same for uh, the coloring of this area so that it can slightly match with the face. So I'm just going to come to my selected color option and I'm just going to select it. So since I want the effect only affect this area I have just selected right here, I'm just going to hold down alternate and click on this line right here. I hope you can see it creates this kind of clipping mask. So I'm just going to hold down alternate and left click right here to clip the effect only affect this area i'm just going to come to the reds and i'm just going to pump up the yellows in the reds just like that so you can see that it is only affecting this arm right there so i just don't want to overdo that i'm just going to push it up then i'm just going to reduce on the magentas in that area just like that a little bit and push up my blacks to Ensure that it is matching with the hand or the face is matching with the uh, hand rather. So I think that looks fine. So let's see uh, for this. Then we are going to do the same for this area right here. So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to just going to come and come back to my selective color. And I'm going to create a stamp visible layer by hitting Shift Alternate Command E on the keyboard. I'm just going to make this same selection and simply reduce on the brightness of this area just a little bit. Then come back to Selective Color. And you can either clip by just tapping on this option or hold it down alternate and you clip on this layer right there. So I'm just going to clip the effect so it can only affect this selected area. Then pump up my yellows for my reds and also push in my blacks. Then reduce on the amount of magenta so that it can slightly match with the face of the model. So I'm just going to put this in a group. The color grading or fixing of these issues by Hitting Ctrl Command G after selecting them. So I'm just going to name this maybe color fix. So you can see the before and after, before, after. And when you feel like it is slightly overdone, you can come and reduce on the opacity of uh, that effect. So I think we are fine with that. Then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to color grade using a selective color. 
I'm just going to come to selective color and just come to that. Then I'm going to first of all target uh, the blues or this image. So I'm just going to come to my so you can come to the blues and you can play around with this slider. So if at all you're going in for that teal look, you can push it towards the magentas and it's going to create for you that nice teal look and you can as well push it up just like that. So you can play around with these sliders to see what works best for you as the person doing the color grading. So I'm just going to push this to around 18 and I think that looks fine. Then I'm going to come to my blacks and simply, since I want that kind of cinematic feel, I'm just going to push in the yellow slightly to around a negative six to make this image really pop even more. So you can see the before and after. I have just added that kind of cinematic bluish or that kind of blue tone to the image. Then we are going we are going to come to the contrast and add some slight bit of contrast. So come to use legacy and activate that and you can see when I push it up that is way over then so make sure you don't take it all the way up just do a little so just going to push it to around two and I think that looks fine. So I think this is all I can do for color grading this very image and I hope it is really looking nice and popping so if at all you want to clean up the obstacles from this very image you can simply create another stamp visible layer by holding down shift alternate command e on the keyboard or shift alternate control e on the keyboard i'm just going to do that and i'm going to create a stamp visible layer and it has created that i'm just going to come and get my patch tool so right click right here and i'm going to get the patch tool so I want to remove this soft box from the image. So I'm just going to select this area around the soft box. Then I'm going to hold down the shift button on the keyboard and simply drag. So you can just select and drag to a clean area. It is going to do a nice replacement for that soft box. And if at all you feel it hasn't done a good job you can come and continue replacing that so uh, using frequency passion can fix uh, this discoloration issues in these areas so since i'm not going to be doing frequency passion or skin retouching i'm not going to be handling all that so i'm just going to come and remove this stand just like that so basically this is how to color grade your images in first of all the camera filter and later on in photoshop so let's see the photoshop color grading that we have just done for this image so hold down the alternate button on the keyboard and you can see the before and after for the photoshop color grading so we have fixed this area and we have added that kind of bluish cinematic tone or feel to this very image I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography and if at all you have loved this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to comment in the comment section if at all you have learned something and if at all you have any issues regarding this tutorial and I'll see you in yet another one don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.